Hello my friends and welcome to the second part of our sci-fi city project which will also close this series and as you can see I filled the city with some Blade Runner inspired element a holographic monk over here kind of a laser generator in the middle of the city and some flying um, air traffic or, or city traffic flying cars so we have a lot to do today Hello my friends and let's get started. This is the end result and this is the starting point which is also the end of the last episode. So if you haven't watched that, you should watch that first and then come back here. This will all make a lot more sense. And to the people who regularly watch my channel, you will see that I reuse some elements from other episodes which is also a good idea as an artist always keep your files for example here's an element from the lens flare episode this is a rectangle with a gradient in it you can see here gradient color going from violet to a light blue and what we're going to do with this is we are going to set this to um, soft light there we go soft light you can see blends it really nice but we are also going to rotate it hold your shift key and rotate it to the side so this as you can see will rotate it in 50 degree steps so we're gonna rotate it 90 percent and then stretch it out all over the city and we can stretch it higher than it goes um, so we will pull the violet part to the middle of the picture so that's pretty good there we go and the reason why I'm doing this is now the city is split into two parts where the lower part is more violet and the upper part is more blue. And this helps us giving more, making the city more distinct. But another part that we have to do is we have these layers here from the last episode. So you can see here is the horizon color. Then we have some split toning going on to set the colors and some color adjustment for the city. And of course, our rectangle or our blending gradient is changing depending on where it's sitting. So we are moving this down a little bit between the split toning adjustment and the recolor adjustment, which will change the darker parts of our uh, violet tones a little bit and also up here on the blue tone. So this is important to do. The next thing and also reuse from my lens flare episode i found this nice lens flare online i'm also going to use that um, uh, to link that in my video description we are going to set this layer to screen you can see here already looks pretty cool and you can see here in the background this architectural element here where we have a round kind of collection of buildings and this kind of looks like a reactor especially with this kind of needle pin here in the middle so i thought this is perfect for this lens flare. So again, we are going to rotate this by 90 degrees. So, whoop, so there we go. We have it over here. And we just move this big lens flare right here in the middle between these buildings. And now we have a little bit of a problem. As you can see, we have a hard edge here from the light of this um, lens flare layer. And we want to remove that. So the first thing we need to do is click on the lens flare layer, right click, and then rasterize so this changes from image to pixel that's pretty important and now we're going to take our eraser brush with a pretty big size as you can see um, opacity and flow are both at 100 percent but the hardness is very low with 14 percent and of course these values always depend on the resolution of your picture but now we can erase these elements you can see this gives us a pretty nice and soft edge so nicely blending i'm not going too close to the lens flare and this means some light or how can i say color effect is still there um you can see if i turn it on and off there is a light aura around that but that is pretty okay because such a big how can I say reactor should really have an effect on the city and also on the camera that's taking this picture that's pretty okay and you can see we have this line going out here and we could actually set this um, between the buildings to even highlight our horizon a little bit more so next thing I want to do is I want to create some laser beams here that are pointing at the middle here so this looks even more like a reactor so the first thing we are going to do is to create a pixel layer add new layer and i'm going to pull this below our lens flare layer um, i will call this actually reactor flare so we know what it is reactor flare and then i will call the other layer laser 
laser there we go and um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my paintbrush it's at the size 20 pixels hardness is still low opacity and flow still at 100% and I will just make a stroke I set it to the color red and make a stroke like this not really important because this will just help us set up um, the laser beam effect so with our laser layer selected we're going to click over here in effect and I'm going to use a little bit of blur just a touch there we go and then we set the outer glow that's important let's set uh, let's set the radius first you can see already it starts to look like a laser and set the color here uh, maybe like this is okay and the next thing we're going to do is to go to the inner glow and we want to click on the little wrench over here that's pretty important because we have some more choices now and we need to set this from edge to center and then push up the radius a little bit and interestingly enough you can see here the more intensity I have the less effect I have so I have to lower my intensity and so it looks like this so that's pretty nice pretty laser like already but we're gonna go back to our layer and set it from normal to screen and now it's even more of a laser effect so that's pretty cool okay next thing we're going to do is hold uh, or press on our keyboard control a to select everything then press delete and control D to deselect everything and now we can paint in our laser beam and the way we are going to do this is also a little trick uh, we are going to click once for example down here I'm gonna click and then I'm uh, holding my shift key and then I'm going to click again and this will create a straight line between these two points so now we can let go from the shift key because if we hold the shift key it will pick our last point and make a straight line to that and we don't want to have that so the next thing we're going to do is to create some additional laser beams down here real quick so again um, click and then hold the shift key and you can click and because I need a second one starting here I can click again with the shift key pressed but now I want to let go of my shift key okay let's do this again uh, maybe uh, maybe make this a little bit straighter like this over here so that looks pretty good okay so this is our lower element and let's go up here do the same thing one oh I went the wrong direction but that's not a problem so there we go uh, I think I move it over here that's good and then maybe start here and do the same thing again over here is this no this is the right position right yeah yeah it's pretty good okay that's pretty cool it's a little bit thinner than the original um, laser beams that I created in the picture that I showed you before uh, that's okay um, can change always and I think maybe the, the thinner laser beams look a little bit better um, also what we want to do is I'm gonna duplicate this layer duplicate it and I'm going to move it behind the layer or I could just click on the other layer actually you can see it now this laser is intensified but what we actually want to do we're gonna back to our effects and make our Gaussian blur a lot stronger and this will give us a lot more glow around our layer and make it a lot more intense and looking like wow Star Wars kind of laser beam so that's pretty nice and we have already done a lot of stuff let's save this real quick so we're not losing our progress and the next thing we're going to do is create our monk hologram over here so I have selected a monk from the internet you see you're a pretty normal guy and um, so what we're gonna do is we are just roughly selecting the guy uh, again so maybe um, make this uh, I don't know uh, let's say lighten okay that's good enough and put it here in a size where you think yeah okay that's the size I'm going to use it because we're going to rasterize it and that means it's going to fixing it on that size or converting the pixels to exactly fit that kind of size so you shouldn't resize it afterwards too much okay so this is okay I'm gonna set it back to normal and then going to rasterize this because we want to change of course the pixels of the picture okay so the next thing I'm gonna do 
is really quickly and roughly doesn't have to be completely on the edge um, make an outline around that guy you again can hold your shift key to make these straight lines around that there we go it doesn't have to be too perfect because and the reason why it doesn't have to be too perfect is because we're gonna do a glow around that anyways so you're not really gonna see the edges too clearly and it's pretty okay in a hologram if it's a bit messy and if it's a bit fading um, so uh, because a hologram shouldn't be too perfect as a picture at least that was what I think is kind of the classic not working too good hologram from I don't know stuff like Star Wars and such so maybe that's a vintage thought you can do it differently if you want to of course so uh, feel free to use your own artistic ideas concepts and find your own solutions that's pretty important also as an artist to always try to find your own kind of style and own way to do things there we go we're almost finished just the hat a little bit there we go uh, there we go down the other side uh, you can see yeah, this is pretty okay I'm not I'm not using the um, select selection brush what, what's it called again uh, yeah selection brush tool because I think it's doesn't work too good so I'm sorry this needs to be improved I'm I'm doing it by hand <laughs> there we go so we're gonna do uh, we're gonna go to select and feather and then we're gonna go to uh, five pixels apply so this is making it smoother the selection the edge of the selection and then I will just uh, control C for copy control V to uh, paste it into my picture or past it I don't know what's the right pronunciation for that word okay we can deselect that now delete the other layer don't need it anymore and you can see wow now we have our monk here and we need of course to change it a little bit so it looks like a hologram and that is not too hard actually the first thing we're going to do is click down here on adjustments and select a recolor layer here we go and pull it onto our monk and we can set this to a nice um, blue for example maybe like this and of course you can over the time you can play around with that so uh, don't worry too much uh, as long as you keep these adjustment layers you have a lot of options um, to change this around and also we can look here if we find a better setting for example lighten is nice uh, overlay is not too good um, yes let's use lighten make this brighter again let's see play around with this a little bit because I want to keep a little bit of the color but not too much um, so it has a blue hue but still keeps a bit of the color so that's I think that's okay um, next thing we're gonna do is click over here on effects and do again the stuff with our glow so let's set this to a light blue real quick and make a good radius I'm not seeing anything um, I'm on the wrong layer okay so that wasn't that wasn't as intended I was on our adjustment layer this is a common mistake so if you don't know what's going on see if you are actually on the right layer so now we are on the right layer uh, let's do this is the inner glow we actually need the outer glow um, so let's set this to blue and then also the inner glow we can also set this to blue this time we are not going to do the effect uh, where we are um, at the center or actually we can look at it what would that look like yeah that's interesting but it creates kind of this kind of strange edge so that's maybe not nah nah that's not what we need so let's go in here set it back to edge and um, let's see so that's mm, yeah like that is pretty okay and now comes a pretty interesting part we are going to click here on 3d actually and this is uh, and we're going to click on the wrench again and you can do some really funky stuff with that uh, it's not going to look 3d because this is not our idea but this gives us a really nice way to play around with the kind of 3d effect light so uh, we will set this soft here uh, to make it softer and uh, can play around with the radius you can see it is a little bit of 3d of course um, and we can play around with these lights 
and they have an effect on our on the look of our hologram so that's pretty pretty interesting pretty cool okay maybe that's too much um there we go and now you can use this direction point here and move it around and get some really funky effects so that's pretty strange uh, but it works so sometimes you should u up use effects so uh, they go more in the direction of your what you actually want to have so that's pretty nice um let's see i think this is pretty okay let's see if we mm, no i will leave it like this and rather um make uh, reduce the opacity of the layer a little bit so we have a little bit of the background city and then we again we are doing the same like with the laser we are duplicating our um layer with the monk so we doubled it and now we i'm clicking on the lower layer going to effects again and again use my gaussian blur so let's see it's a little bit slow at the moment okay that's interesting well, let's see how does it look when it's on top mm-hmm one second let's go back uh, no no that's actually not what I want okay let's move this layer below again or actually let's see if we blend this maybe uh, with soft light hey that's good soft light is interesting lighten is interesting let's keep it at soft light and let's reduce this layer a little bit there we go this is even better than the version that i did in the picture i showed you before uh, okay this is too but that's pretty cool i think i think i will keep it like that so that's pretty nice okay so the next thing we are going to do is um, I want to group this up, the monk, real quick. So we have a group here. And uh, what we're doing with this group is I'm going to create a mask and put this, um, I think, on top of the group because I want to blend this down here so he's not kind of standing on the buildings. I'm going to use again, not my eraser, sorry, uh, my brush. Set it pretty quick no even bigger that's pretty okay and uh, we can click here with um, black turn it turn the color to black that's important and you can see now we can fade this mm, maybe like this should I click again no yeah maybe once more like this is okay that's good I don't like the effect that it's doing down here. So maybe we can do something about that. Let's see. Um, sometimes, um, sometimes Affinity Photo is acting up a little bit, doing strange things that are not really intended. Uh, there we have the glow. Wait a second. If I move this layer up here, does this improve things? No, it doesn't. This is also not good. And there's the glow back. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Can I maybe... Wait a second. Let's group this. And then put the complete group in here. It's actually the same thing. Nah. Okay. Let's just leave it like that for the moment. Wait. Not, I'm, I don't want to get lost here. There we go. I can delete this group. I can now call this monk. There we go. Monk. 
All right, so we created our holographic monk. Looks a little bit different than any other version, but that's okay. Ah, we, we still have, I forgot about that already, uh, almost. Uh, we have this second lens flare. This one here looks pretty cool. And I want to put this behind the head of the monk because it makes it look really interesting. So again, I'm going to set this to screen. So it's blending nicely with the background. And I'm rotating this again. 90 degrees to the other side. Wow, my computer is getting really slow right now. I'm sorry. Um, so set this behind his head. That's pretty nice. We can even put this, make this a little bit bigger. So the effect is more extreme. And this highlights his head in a nice way. So that looks pretty cool, pretty interesting. And again, we have these edges here. So we can um, rasterize this. Where is it? There it is rasterize it and then um, erase the edge here a little bit there we go down here over here and we don't want it over here and now I also want to duplicate this to make the effect a little bit stronger so that's pretty cool okay so that's nice we have created our holographic monk um, I'm going to actually move this up here and we almost finished so that's pretty cool like it said uh, we are 20 minutes now let's create this as a group call it monk there we go and the only other things that we need to do is we need to adjust this from the color a little bit let's group this also let's call it reactor reactor and um, the other thing we need to do is we have our little um, geisha over here, uh, which is kind of a holographic advertisement for a shop. Um, so this is already cut out and we have a second one, uh, which is our open sign here. So we're going to do this really quickly um, by just right click rasterize. So now it's rastered and we use our flood select tool click once and this is selecting almost everything because the background is black and then we click in here and just click uh, or hit delete on your keyboard and we have deleted everything in here that, that's pretty nice and oh i moved my monk that's not good did i move my monk yeah i think so let's go back yeah there we go okay so we have our the hell moving the monk is moving it's not good so now I've locked the monk and I will also lock the reactor so we're not clicking on that by accident and the next thing we're going to do is we are going to combine these two or actually not we are not going to combine these two I'm sorry um, the reason why we're not going to do this is because I want uh, prospectively to go the um, the geisha in one direction and the open sign into another direction so um, the next thing we're going to do is right click on the geisha rasterize you have seen this before and now i'm going to click over here on my perspective tool and we can leave it at this big size and then just pull these elements to the points where we have them so this will resize this the rest automatically and give us a lot more kind of resolution so um, we can try to fit this in here perspectively and when you work with perspective, always construct it at the position that you want it to end up with because afterwards, if you move it, of course, the perspective is wrong again. So this is not really helpful. I want to put it over this building here, um, perspectively somewhat correct, and then uh, make the open sign below that. So there we go. Uh, pull this down here. Mm, that looks pretty nice but it's sticking out a little bit too much for my taste um, that looks pretty good okay I'm gonna click apply so that looks pretty interesting the the good thing is we can move it a little bit not too much so the, the perspective would change too much so if I move it up here the perspective is not working but I can move it a little bit down here so that's okay we are going to look at our blend modes again and lighten again works pretty nice. I'm going to use my outer glow to make a more like neon effect for this. 
and I'm gonna set this actually to a wrong color that's not in the picture but it makes the picture stand out more and it's kind of a thing you see also in sci-fi movies that actually the glow doesn't fit uh, the neon light so we're gonna do now the same thing with our open sign but I'm gonna use it prospectively to look the other direction so let's hit our perspective or grid tool and or no it's not, it's not actually a grid tool it's a perspective tool so there we go and um, move these edges over here until we found a position where oh, this is looking the other direction so that's not it one second that's good but it's not in the right position the, the one thing i don't like about this tool is i can't grab everything and move it over because this would be really helpful right now but it doesn't work like that so uh here we go i think this is a bit too extreme maybe come on there we go i think that should be okay that's pretty okay that's pretty nice okay uh we're gonna do the same thing uh set this to lighten and also use our outer glow but in this case we are using a matching color so i'm gonna choose some blue there we go and then go back to our geisha layer move this over a little bit um open sign or should we move it up here it's actually it would still work let's move the geisha a little bit lower so you can see i'm really breaking my own rules uh, about the don't move stuff after you have set the perspective but in this case because the sign is rotating it's actually still working so that's pretty nice so the last things we are going to do is some fine tuning for the city and of course we have to create our traffic down here so that's pretty important so what I want to do is first create a traffic of course um, I'm going to create a new pixel layer for that or actually no I'm not going to do that I am going to duplicate one of our laser layers because we can use those settings pretty much um, completely I'm gonna move that up here and um, change the name to traffic there we go traffic and we can again just make a brush stroke whoop that's too much set this to a small size and again maybe red as the light there we go and this already looks pretty good so I'm gonna select everything delete it and then I'm just going to use my stabilizer up here and the only thing I'm actually going to do is to create some lines I'm just drawing some lines here like this you can see so um, maybe not like that oh uh, let's go like this bam and then again whoop and then we're gonna go oh actually I'm going to go different direction here so I have this is a bit e it's a, a little bit easier so there we go just make some lines we don't have to do too much lines actually the last line was not too good there we go okay that's good enough and what we're going to do now and that's a pretty nice trick to do is uh, we are just going to hold our control key and just move this a little bit and this is going to create a duplicate and we're going to do this a second time to create another duplicate and thus we have already created our traffic down here moving from the corner of our picture over here to our well close to our reactor okay so now comes a little bit of fine tuning for our picture to make it look even better um, I will really quickly group this here call it traffic oops traffic there we go okay and now comes the fine tuning of our picture so first what we are going to do is I want to click on our monk group reduce this a little bit maybe to 90 percent so he is not glowing that bright so that's a bit of a help uh, the next thing I want to do actually still I want to make the reactor glow a little bit smaller here so let's reduce it maybe to this size bring it back to the middle so we see a bit more of our architectural structure maybe even let's see bring the light over here so that's pretty okay 
That's good. Another thing I want to do, because I realize that the city doesn't look too good with our rectangle down here, I'm going to go into the fill here and click on the violet color because I feel like this is too dark and we're going to set a new color. Um, so we can play around with this and you can see this is really helping um, to set the city apart a lot more. Um, so yeah, that's good. So that's okay. Is there anything else we need to do? Let's see, we have our um, sign here. So I want to group this up and call it Geisha. Uh, let's rename that real quick. Geisha. I think I wrote that wrong. There we go. And I'm going to move this maybe down um, below here to our other color settings. Let's see if this is down here. This looks a lot more integrated into the rest of the picture. Maybe we should do the same with the monk. Let's see. Um, yes, that's actually better because now also the lower part of the monk is more pink and the upper part is more blue. Or is this is this too intense? Maybe let's move the monk over this. Let's see. Move him out of these kind of adjustments. Yeah, actually, I'm going to leave the monk like that. It's pretty cool. He's a little bit harder to see, but I like that he's fading more into the picture. So that's pretty nice. Um, I want to click smaller for the picture so we can look at it in its total. And I think it's pretty good. So I think we made a pretty good work. Oh, uh, one thing, I changed the rectangle color. So I have to go in here to the reactor and we had our recolor adjustments. So we have to adjust that a little bit again. Um, let's see. It's too bright. Reduce this a little bit. Okay, so that was the episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you really liked it. And if you like my channel, I do two more tutorials per week. So maybe subscribe to me, hit the little bell so you get informed. And if you want to support me even more, head over to Patreon where you get my original files with all the layers. You can post your own pictures, get feedback from me, and we can talk about topics that are interesting for you. And you get, of course, a lot more rewards. So thank you very much and see you in the next episode. Bye.